Hey guys, welcome back to the ministrypodcast.com. Uh, we got a new episode for you, episode number 11. Today's Thursday, April 17th, and <clears throat> got some cool stuff for you. Wanted to get into a, uh, a book for you guys, a resource that I, I've used and uh, would like to share with you. But before we get there, I uh, want to remind you to check us out at the website at www.theministrypodcast.com. You can uh, reach me there by email at the ministry, marco at the ministrypodcast.com. Oh, you can find us on Facebook at Facebook backslash the ministry podcast as well. You can find us on the YouTube channel where you could always find this video. It's where we load first before it even goes to the website. And that's the ministry channel. And it's all one word. You can find us there on YouTube. On Twitter, it's at ministry podcast. And uh, we just recently added Tumblr and that's the ministry pod- podcast.tumblr.com. So find us on any of those uh, platforms and you can comment, you can ask us questions there, you can give us show ideas. Uh, we're, we'd like to do either tomorrow or uh, Saturday do an, an episode of a, a question and answer and so we need some some questions from you guys and, and some ideas and uh, you know we want to let you uh, have some of the control of the show so we can get out some content that you guys want to hear and we want to make sure and get some feedback from you so please uh, comment, subscribe, uh, you know, tell your friends what we're doing here and, and what we're trying to do. Also, I, I've started uh, linking to other people's uh, some cool stuff. A buddy of mine, Clifton Tarrant, yesterday we, we linked uh, one of his posts and, uh, you know, you can check that out. And so I'm going to be uh, periodically and, and trying to do it regularly, finding some stuff from you guys that uh, just is, you know, good words from the Lord and, and trying to post them so that we can just, you know, share some uh some of God's words with one another and, and some, some of the like devotions that we have with one another. So uh, check that out, um, as, as always, at theministrypodcast.com. And today, what I wanted to get into a little bit was uh, this book. This one, I remember one of the first uh, ministry books that I ever read. Um, I had started a few before and just never really finished them, but I remember this being one of the first uh, ministry books that I read that that was as far as uh, learning how to teach and how to lead people and and as well as uh, you know some pointers on on community and, and things like that. So anyhow, this book uh, we're talking about today is the Way of the Shepherd, and uh, it's it's a look how big my hand. It's it's a tiny book. It's maybe no, I don't think it's even 120 pages. It's like 115 or so. Uh, very small. The you know the print is normal size print. Yeah, so it's it's a real easy read. It's in a story format, uh, just really, really uh, simple read, really easy to go through, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I really got a lot out of it, and especially because I probably read this book about 10 years ago, and still all the content in here is, is really on point and really something worth looking into. The author is Dr. Kevin Lamack and William Pentak. Uh, you can see, I guess that might be backwards. Uh, I don't know. Anyhow, um, but it's called The Way of the Shepherd, Seven Ancient Secrets to Managing Productive People. And in the, in the story, there's a guy that's interviewing a CEO and basically talking to him about how he got to where he got into his position and, and how he does so well at leading uh, one of the Fortune 500 companies. And it's really interesting. And, and he relates it to to shepherding people, and uh, of course we know there's scripture in in the in the Bible that talks about the Lord is my shepherd, right? And and we 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 hear that, and he relates it also to the uh, the ancient uh, times of the pharaohs and the pyramids, and and how uh, actually that's part of the way the pharaohs believed they were as shepherds to their people, and uh, so you know Christianity isn't the only ones that that felt like leaders or shepherds. Uh, and they make some of the analogies there that really clear, really good. But uh, I'm going to go briefly over some of these chapters with you, uh, just the, the names of them and what uh, you know what you can kind of expect here. So the first chapter is uh, knowing the condition of your flock. It starts with an introduction uh, to the interview and how he's getting into the story, but know the condition of your flock. And it talks about uh, even like a sheep, uh, as a shepherd would go and, and inspect them, he would see them every day and, and he would also have to uh, look back behind. There's, there's thick layers of wool on, on sheep. So 
you would have to look uh, underneath some of that to make sure that the condition of the of the sheep are are good and that they're happy because basically uh, if you've never dealt with livestock before when you keep your your livestock happy when you keep them uh, in a place where they feel safe they will produce and they they always are in better condition than if they're worried about where their next meal is going to come from where uh, you know, if they feel safe or not, and they not only produce, in this case, the shepherds with wool, but they also produce offspring more readily. So, okay, um, I'm going to skip over uh, chapter two, discover the shape of your sheep. Uh, verse, uh, I mean, chapter three is help your sheep identify with you. Uh, so one of the things that helps with the with with your people and and with with the people that God sends us to to minister to and that could be our friends or family uh you know our parents and and our teachers um whoever it is you know we we can all help to lead one another and because honestly we we all have areas where that we're not as strong in and we need each other to to point us out to some of the our our stronger um you know what our weaknesses are and what our strengths are and um, to help us in the, the places that we have blind spots. And when we lead one another, uh, you know, identifying with one another is, is definitely something that, that we have to do and, and take advantage, not, not advantage of, but um, the, the understanding of if we are able to identify with one another, um, we can leverage that to, to know that we know each other's uh, strengths and our faults and our, um, the areas that we can use help in and, and to help one another. So let's see, in chapter four, uh, make your pastor a safe place. Just like I said a minute ago, that when you get into to livestock, when, when your livestock feel like they're safe, they feel like they can produce young and, and their young will be in a safe place. And so uh, when you have a, a flock, you want to, and like I said, this is all analogous or, or, or it's, it's all in, in analogies towards um, you know, people and, and leading people that when you, when you create a safe place for them, that they are able to be more abundant and feel, uh, you know, at ease and, and not have to worry about, you know, being in a safe place if the, if the shepherd's going to watch out for them. Okay. And the next thing is, uh, chapter five and six. Chapter five is the staff uh, of direction. Uh, and then number six is the rod of correction. And uh, I didn't know this before reading this book, but there, there's two different things, the staff and the rod. The rod, you know, and, and David says, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And I didn't realize that, you know, uh, there were, there actually a shepherd would normally carry two, uh, two sta- or staffs or a rod and a staff. And there's different purposes for one, the direction and correction. And uh, so he makes some, some clear distinctions between the two and one for guiding and one for gently correcting, uh, and, and when need be also, you know, uh, correcting to, you know, even painful correction. Uh, and then ver- chapter seven is the heart of the shepherd. And, uh, you know, it, it's more of a, an introspection, uh, about where you're at. And, and man, I really, really enjoyed this book. I hope you guys, uh, have opportunity to check it out. And once again, it's called the way of the shepherd. Seven Ancient Secrets to Managing Productive People, Dr. Kevin Lamack and William Pentak. Uh, so check it out as well. Leave us questions, comments, and uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. Hopefully you can check it out, and uh, God bless you.